Hi, it's Larry here, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. The November update is almost upon us. Richard Irving from the Xbox engineering team is back with us. Hi, Richard. Great to be here. Let's jump right into it. So the November update focused a lot on personalization and customization of both your profile and your console. One of the number one fan requested features on feedback.xbox.com, as well as Reddit and some of the other popular gaming forums, we can set our backgrounds. That's right. <laughs> You'll be able to set the background of your uh, of home mm -hmm. using your personal color, uh, using achievement art from an achievement that you've unlocked. You have to have really unlocked able... it, though. That's right. You have to have unlocked it. Yep. Um, and then later in October, you'll get an update to the media player that gives you the ability to use any image as your background on home. Now we have some really exciting changes coming to the gamer profile. Let's talk about that. Our fans really asked for us to bring back the, the bio and the location profile settings that we had on Xbox 360. And so we brought those back. The team took it a little further in a really neat way and gave users the ability to create what we call a showcase of their accomplishments on Xbox One. So the profile is really becoming a lot richer. Not only can I add my, my bio and my location, but I can take a couple of things, I can kind of pin them to my profile. How does that work? So your profile is now effectively your gamer tag, your gamer pick, your bio, your location, and this showcase. And, and, my, this and my gamer score. And your gamer score, of <laughs> course. Uh, and in this showcase, you can put game DVR clips that you're really proud of, or you can put achievements you, you've unlocked that you're really proud of, uh, up to six things. And when people view your profile, we'll just automatically cycle through them, or you can specifically highlight it and press A, and you'll get the full showcase as your friend configured it. So it's a way for me to kind of pin the things that I am very proud of and that I like right there on my profile. That's right. All right, Richard, I love Twitter, and I understand you guys are doing some cool stuff with Twitter on the console now. One of the really cool things is you'll be able to link your Xbox Live account with your Twitter account. Uh, and when you do that, you can share game DVR clips from your Xbox One directly to your followers on Twitter. Wow, so this is obviously, it's completely optional. It's We're not gonna spam your Twitter account, it's up to you. Uh, that's exactly right. It's an option when you choose to share a clip. Remember, when we introduced clip sharing, you can share to your activity feed, you can share in a message, and now you can share to Twitter. Richard, the team has also done some great work in the TV section of Xbox One. What's going on there? So we've introduced the live TV trending feature when you open the One Guide now. Uh, you'll see uh, trending lists for what's trending on Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, what's trending on Xbox Live, uh, Xbox Live members in your area, as well as popular movies that you can rent through an Xbox uh, video provider. Richard, as we've been going through the dashboard, I've noticed this what's on section. Tell us about that. The what's on section is uh, kind of what we, what, what we were thinking is that's where you go when you're done playing games and you just want to lean back and be entertained. And so, uh, so in the section, you'll see some, uh, some things that our editorial team have picked out that we think are, are funny or interesting. Uh, if you have the One Guide configured, you'll see uh, popular TV shows in your area. Uh, if you don't have the One Guide configured, then you will see uh, popular movies on Xbox Live. Um, and then Twitch broadcasts of Xbox One games, the most popular Twitch broadcasts at that moment uh, that you can just click right through and watch. Richard, this sounds great. When is it going to be available for everyone on Xbox Live? Uh, well, it's going to go to a limited subset of our preview audience initially, and then we'll get uh, larger and larger over time. Lots of great stuff coming in November. Richard, thank you for uh, for stopping by and sharing some of that with us. Now, remember, if you want more details, go by news.xbox.com or majornelson.com. And remember, if you have a great idea for Xbox, swing by feedback.xbox.com. Thank you, Richard, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for having me.